Well, we've all heard of air, aircraft flight data recorders, the black box, but did you know your vehicle is probably equipped with something similar? Chances are it is. 95% of new vehicles have an onboard event data recorder or black box. Well, we asked our Mark Kane to find out what information the black box is recording and who has access to it. It was headline news in April of last year. Golf legend Tiger Woods was involved in a terrible crash. Woods was traveling almost twice the speed limit, and he never touched the brakes. But pressure on the accelerator measured 99%. Authorities know this precise information because of this. An event data recorder, or black box, mandated to be in every vehicle assembled since 2014, but 95% of the cars already on the road back then already had a black box. Connected to the airbag control module, it records all sorts of information if there's a crash or sudden deceleration. The black box, or the event data recorder, will will give you information about five seconds prior to the crash. David Noyce is an associate dean at the UW College of Engineering. He's an expert of traffic operation, vehicle crashes, and driver behavior. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has put out a whole list of information that, that should be recorded. And it ranges from pre-crash information, including operating speed of the vehicle, was the brake on or off, steering wheel angle, deceleration values. Keep in mind, the black box only stores the information after a crash. To retrieve that data, you need to turn to a forensics vehicle engineer. Yeah, we'll Adam Weiss engineer. runs four moto experts in Monona. So what we have here is an interface module that allows me to connect to the vehicle. There's a connector here that connects into the diagnostic connector, which is usually under the dash. And then there's another cable that connects to this computer, and there's some software on the computer that um, allows us to access the airbag control module in the vehicle. It only takes a matter of minutes to download any crash data. Our news car wasn't involved in a crash, so no data was there, but Professor Noyce has seen his share of wrecks and says the data collected can be invaluable. So pre-crash, five seconds to the time of crash. So this is looking at vehicle stability, but here's information at, at the, the steering wheel angle. And what I, what I noticed in this particular crash is the driver did not react at all before impact. The driver was going 56 miles an hour and there was no brake activation. And you see that in the last two tenths of a second, the steering wheel angle changed significantly. So in other words, the driver is doing a quick, mm -hmm. I can learn a lot about this crash by looking at this data that I would not have been able to determine if I, if I would not have had this. So who has access to that data? Well, that's the million dollar question. 17 states have passed laws regarding data privacy. In those states, the owner or the leasee does, but a court can order it released. Every other state, including Wisconsin, has not passed laws regarding vehicle crash data. But as generally accepted, the car's owner owns the data. For the federal act, that's pretty clear that they own it. Um... But, you know, you posited this really distinct question. I, I suspect they still own it, right? Because that's the whole point. There's no question, Mark, that, that some are very concerned about this type of data because, yes, it's information that is considered personal related to how you're driving, the speed you're driving. So some people have concern about that, but at least from my viewpoint, it's, it's data that talks about the attributes of your car and, and we can all learn from it. And uh, so I think it's very important. In Madison, Mark Kane, News 3 Now. Event data recorder privacy laws have been introduced in the state assembly, but so far no action has been taken in the state. And if you want to find out if your vehicle has a black box, simply check your owner's manual.